Well, here we are in Cameron, North Carolina, which is about three hours away from where you are watching this. And we had plans tonight to, uh, Lauren and I, to uh, tell you a story about someone who we met when we were here on our U Hallelujah trip, and her name is Kat. And um, Kat has a really interesting story, and um, which we're going to try to tell you today. We wanted her to tell it, um, but um, she's not here, and uh, that's okay. We, we are sad that we can't be with Kat right now, but we know that um, God is doing in her life what he wants to do in his time, and, and God is um, ministering to us through all of this. So, yeah, we're disappointed in a way, but we know um, God has Kat's life uh, just as he has ours as well. I'm looking forward to seeing you today. Um, we're here, we're all ready for you, so just come whenever you can, all right? See you then, bye. Yeah, we're just gonna play a song that we were hoping to play with Kat here, and you may not ever see this, but we might. What, what do you what can you tell everyone about about Kat and how how you met her? Um. Well, that day uh, we were all just trying to get ready for church and set up Solid Rock United Methodist for um, the services that day, and so everybody else is vacuuming, and I decided I was going to help a woman out with food and passing out snacks and coffee and stuff like that, and. A woman walks into the front door and tells me that I am very thankful that you have gloves on today. She told me it was because she has a really big fear of germs and so <laughs> Kathy's goal for that day was to receive communion because she hadn't in about 17 years. So she's sitting in the back, well not even sitting, standing in the back just watching the service and smiling, probably one of the biggest smiles I've ever seen and it got even bigger when before they raised the bread into the air and broke it for communion, the lady put on hand sanitizer. And she was very thankful and she's jumping for joy and smiling like crazy. And, but then when the other bread was lifted into the air and broken, that man sadly did not put on hand sanitizer. It, everything was wiped away as soon as possible. She broke down and was bawling knowing that I was probably the only person from our church who um, probably met her that day because she was kind of an outcast and kind of kept herself away from everybody. Yeah. I decided to go help her and make sure that she was okay. Our main goal was to find a piece of bread that was touched by someone who did put on hand sanitizer. And we did, and both of us crying, of course, mm -hmm. walked up to the front to John and she received communion that day. And it was a beautiful moment. I didn't know all this was happening, and so I was helping with communion, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw someone come from the other side, and, and I saw this woman sort of shaking, and I saw you behind her with your hands on her shoulders, and both of you crying, and then I looked in the front row, and everyone was crying, and I thought, well, everyone's crying, and I, I just, the power of, of that moment, I started crying too, and, and then I began to learn about Kat and, and what she was living with. And before communion that day, I found out that she used to not even step in foot into the sanctuary at all. She used to stand outside of the doors and watch through the window until they started opening up the doors for her and inviting her in. Um, I think we had a connection ma mainly because of that one line she kept saying was, I am trying. Promise me, I know it may seem hard, people may not understand, but I am trying the hardest that I can. And I, know, I don't know how many times in my life I've said, I'm trying. I think the one thing that I'll always remember is that while we were doing our group prayer and everybody was popcorning and <laughs> saying what they wanted to pray about, she just raised 
two people that she was holding hands raised their hands and said, I am holding hands with strangers. Mm -hmm. Thank God Almighty. Yep. And that truly just melted my heart. And then today, you know, she was so excited, even though she was afraid to meet us. You know, she said, "Tell, I'm so excited to see Lauren. I'm so excited to hug her, and I've never been able, been excited to hug someone before." Yeah, we're disappointed in a way, but we know um, God has Cat's life, uh, just as He has ours as well. So, anything else you want to say before we we stop? I am more than blessed to have met a woman like Kat. I ended up meeting someone who has changed my life permanently, and I'm eternally grateful for that. Mm. So we told. Me, me. So we told someone. I said no. God said yes. Well, that's. Well, you guess who won? 